hey guys it's wit and welcome to veda so i'm going to do a slight cheat slight. um and i was gonna come on here and talk about um five ways you can kind of like renew yourself for the spring you know in conjunction with my renewal box but i've already done that on periscope so what I'm going to do for you guys is just show you the Periscope. And I made sure that Periscope was set up so that, you know, it would be viewer friendly on YouTube as well. So I'm going to insert that in now. All right. So this is my time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, again, thank you. Um, Lydia, oh boy, C-O-E, Black Lactationist. All right. Black Lactivist. Black Lactation. We are going Hey everybody, I am using Periscope Producer, so there may be a slight delay, um, but I will be trying to check your comments as much as possible. So just come on in, so I'll give everybody a minute to get in here before we get started. So let me know if you can hear me pretty well. everybody hear me well just want to make sure looking over here to check your comments hey everybody great 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 so welcome in welcome in everybody so my name is Whitney and I am a blogger at whathappens6.com and the birthday lifestyle.com and I am a member of Black Beard Scope. So you're all here because you know what Black Beard Scope is. And make sure you're following their account if you are not. And follow the founder's account. That's Pulse by Nature, Trendy Socialite, and Moms in Charge, No I. So it looks like everybody is joining. So what I'm going to be talking to you about today is about five things that you can do to feel renewed for the spring. Coming out of the winter time, you know, things can be rough. Like if you um, don't know my story, I'm actually sharing it right now on um, YouTube. So you can check out my YouTube channel, which is withhappen6.com. And essentially in that story, I'm telling you about um, how I ended up getting sick and how um what happened to me and the things that i felt like i could have done to um help make things better or things that were missed all this kind of stuff and one of the things that i've been noticing um as i've been sick is that winter is really harsh on me um i thought it was initially just me getting used to being ill and you know dealing with all these things but winter is just harsh and even though i have allergies the spring is a time where I feel much better and much um, relief, <laughs> and I try to feel renewed. So I try to do some things to help me um, feel feel better when it comes to the springtime. So one of the things that I try to do to help me in general and to also help with my sickness is declutter. So that is the first thing. Decluttering is really important because it helps you not only clear physical space, but you can declutter your mental space as well. Sometimes your overcrowded mind can lead to an overcrowded living space. Because if you feel like you have too much going on all up here, where your mind is racing, you don't have things together, before you know it, your bedroom is a mess, then your living room is a mess then everything is a mess. Hey! So, what you want to do is try to make sure you declutter all that. It may be having a small notebook that you can write down your thoughts in so that you get them out. This also helps as a nighttime 
ritual too because you get all your thoughts out onto paper and you get to move on and go to bed and just have a clear mind. The next thing is having some me time. Sometimes really finding a moment to just like light a candle or take a relaxing bath is all you really need to help you feel that renewal at the end of the day, at the end of the week. And sometimes it can be even be having your favorite dessert, having a something sweet <laughs> that makes you feel good. Sometimes that helps you with that renewal aspect. The next thing, number three, is to plan a vacation. So I have been guilty of this, and I was particularly guilty of it before I got ill. Plan a vacation. I had so much vacation time <laughs> saved up that I wasn't using. I was just working all the time. I would have to be very, very, very ill before I took a day off. And that's not doing us any good. If something happened to us because we were overworked, the job would go on. <laughs> So we need to think about ourselves and think about the beach, think about pulling our hair back and laying down in some sand to help us feel renewed. If we have that paid time off, plan to use it. It's there for us to use. Do not, <laughs> do not waste it. Okay. And I really got that at the end of my last job, you guys. They did not pay you out for your leave. So you had to use it. So please believe I was planning vacations. Even sick, I was in New Orleans because I was going to use my vacation time. The next thing, um, yes, me too. Um, the next thing is um, make a new relaxation practice. So as we're going into spring, we're letting go of, you know, just all the things that happen in the winter. Stressful holidays sometimes. Getting into the swing of things. Inauguration for some of us was stressful. So all of these things. So it can be anything from yoga to journaling. Just really find something that you like to do. Um, it may be even as simple as every morning when you wake up or every night reading some kind of inspirational quote. Um, or it may be at lunchtime instead of just sitting in your office. Get up and take a walk to help you clear your mind. These things help you feel renewed or refreshed even if it's just to get through the rest of your day and then the last thing number five is be flexible be flexible when I first got sick I was very adverse to doing the things that I was supposed to be doing because I was not being flexible so I was still in that state of holding on to old things and not being receptive to if I did the things that I'm supposed to do now, if I make the changes that I'm supposed to make now, the possibilities of the newness are there. When you get renewed, there is newness there. Um, you can't hold on to the old. I'm not like I was before. I can't hold on to that. I can't live thinking about the past. Resisting the change only makes it harder. When I was able to accept everything that was happening, I was able to accept the possibilities of my new life and of everything. So it's really important to do those things. So I just wanted to give you those five things. So to recap the five things, it is one, to declutter, two, have some me time, three, to plan a vacation, four, to start a new relaxation practice, and five, to be flexible. I'm gonna put a coupon code for merchandise on my site, not the box, for merchandise, um, down below in the description box. So you can definitely check that out. Also, now that I think about it, I wanna give my YouTube people a little boost. So, if you do buy a subscription box, um, let me know down in the comments and also email me at info at the birthday lifestyle.com letting me know your name and that you came from YouTube and you will be entered to win a free box in June. By the way, June is my birthday month, so that box is going to be ridiculous. Ridiculous, because it's my birthday month. 
So anyway, check out the Periscope, the five ways you can renew yourself for the spring, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.